Are you interested in the latest tube preamp from FX Audio? How does it sound and work? Let's find it out together. I got this sweet preamp from FX Audio for a review. They didn't make any demands or ask for a positive review. And just for being cool that way, they have my thumbs up. Now, what we have here is a preamp with a DAC. The line between preamps and ducts is thin nowadays because any duct can act as a preamp if it has a volume control. But a real preamp, like this one, offers some additional functions. It has tone controls in the front, it has both digital and analog inputs on the back. You can see USB, auxiliary and pair of RCA connectors and a pair of analog outputs that can provide up to 5.8 volts when the volume knob is cranked to the max. This one here, which is higher than usual 2 volts output we see on most ducts today. And that's better suited to be connected to a wide variety of power amps. But when you don't think about these additional functions, it can also be used as any regular duck. I found out that dialing this volume knob to the middle, somewhere around here, will approximately give an output level that is matching a regular 2 volts duck output. Tube 6 is built really well. Everything is made of thick brushed aluminum. It feels solid and looks great. Lamps are removable. I will quickly show you that just a moment. Okay, of course they're not easily removable because you wouldn't want them to fall out, fall out accidentally, but they're removable so you can change them if you want. But I haven't done that so everything I say here about the sound is with these factory lamps. Let's turn it on right now. You just have to hold this button for a few seconds and it's turning on. When turned on, you can choose the input by pressing the same button short this time here. If you press it for a few seconds again, it will turn off. And those lamps light up with a nice warm glow. I don't believe you can see much of that in this bright video environment, but it looks really great in my dimmed living room. And if you're sharing your living space with any females, I bet they would love it too. Lamps also get hot very quickly, so better watch your fingers. As you can imagine, I tried it in many different ways. Hooked directly to a power amp, to a headphone amp, to my integrated amp, and it worked just fine in all of these situations. Just don't expect to connect headphones directly to it using something like this because it's not made for such use. You have to connect it to some kind of amp to get decent drive to your headphones. But what about the sound, you ask? Fortunately, there is good sound here to match the looks. We have soft and warm, but yet open sound coming from Tube 6. Now, why do I say soft and warm? Well, because that's how the bass region makes it sound. It's full, it's pleasantly warm and rounded, and I think the unit is a bit bassy by default. So in my system, I prefer the bass knob few clicks to the left. Something like this. And all knobs have clicky feeling, which I liked because that way I have a good sense of how much I'm turning them without actually looking. What I find curious is there isn't any mark on front panel to tell you what is the starting position for the default flat sound of tone controls. So I'm assuming it's at 12 o'clock like it usually is on most tone controls, just straight 12 o'clock. Going a little bit higher to the mids, they are also pleasantly full, making all vocals and instruments sound present and realistic. I really like the balance we have here, with both lower mid-range to give us body and higher mid-range to draw these edges and details and give pleasant huskiness to vocals. 
If you expected highs to sound muffled or veiled because of tubes, you would be wrong. They're actually quite detailed and pronounced, which is the reason I used the word open when I started talking about the sound. Again, in my system, I preferred to tame those highs just a little bit by tuning their tone controls a few clicks to the left. Again, same as I did with the bass. Now, with both bass and highs tuned slightly to the left, I got the feeling of a nicely balanced sound signature. Other than frequency balance, there is a very decent sound stage here. It spreads very wide, while the depth is not that pronounced, and you get an upfront type of sound, which is the opposite of being laid back some people would connect tubes with. The only softness I'm detecting anywhere that might be connected to tubes is in the bass region I mentioned, which is more warm and fuzzy, but it may lack some speed and kick, making it better suited for a late night jazz, let's say, than some feisty electro music. All in all, Tube 6 can provide a lush and wide sound, which can fit very well with most affordable power amps. Now, most of my testing was done using digital input, the USB one, which is also the only one, this one here. But I also tried using other separate ducts as a source, connecting them to analog inputs of Tube 6, bypassing its internal DAC, and I must say that sounded good too but I never felt I gained anything by doing that. On the contrary, I always got the best, cleanest sound using a digital input. So, if you plan to use this little preamp, consider it a complete solution. Buying another separate duck will basically lead you nowhere except spending your money. And here we come to the conclusion and the real worth of Tube 6. It's a combo which can act as any other DAC, but also has additional analog inputs, which you can use to connect any of your devices with analog output, like CD player, for example, or your phone straight out of the headphones jack, and so on. Now, if you don't need these preamp abilities, and you would basically use it only with its digital input, and you have other means of controlling volume and tone, you should maybe look for a pure DAC, because some of them can provide even more clarity and dynamics for the price. Like FX's own DAC X6, for example, that I previously reviewed, really liked, and kept one with me. But if you actually need its analog preamp abilities and tone controls, this is a really good deal. It's well-built, good-looking, and nice-sounding product that has no trouble justifying its $90 price tag. Just pair it with any headphones amp or power amp and you're good to go. Thank you for watching and see you next time.